Now, question of the day, a block placed on a horizontal surface experience force as given them. Find the frictional force, frictional force applied by the surface on the block, okay, and a solution of each block. Our motto, determine a solution of the block and frictional force by applied by the surface on the block. So, how can we determine? First of all, look here. That one is 10 Newton downward. Okay, here 10 Newton with horizontal 37 degree. Okay, so component of 10 Newton along in this direction that is how much 10 cos 37 and 10 cos 37 is how much 0 0.8. So that value is 8 Newton. I have so clear. Okay, and vertical force means in y direction component of 10 Newton in y direction that is how much. 10 sin 37. So 10 into sin 37 is 0 0.6. That is how much 6 Newton. For simplicity point of view, I have taken G this be equal to 10 meter per second square. Look here. So component of that force along x axis 8 Newton and along y axis that is 6 Newton. Okay. Now after that, if you make free by diagram mg always work on downward direction that is how much that is 2 into g and g is 10 so that is 20 newton i have taken g this protein so clear after that that surface apply on the block normal force apply on the block n1 always perpendicular direction so written n1 like that one and frictional force always here <clears throat> horizontal force is 8 Newton. So, frictional force develop in this opposite direction of that force, driving force. Okay. Now, this block is not moving along y axis. Okay. Why? Because this is plane, earth, like that one. So, this block is not moving in y direction. It means net force in y direction is 0. F of y is 0. I have so clear. Now, downward force 10. And how much? 20 Newton. And that force is 6 Newton in opposite direction. So, minus 6. Or you can say that this is equal to 6 plus N1. I have so clear or not? Upward force is N1 plus 6 Newton. This is equal to downward force is how much? 10 plus 20. So, what about N1? N1 is how much? 30 minus 6. That is 24 Newton. That is 24 Newton. I have so clear or not? So, normal force applied by the surface on the block N1 is 24 Newton. Okay. Now, next one. After that, <laughs> look here. That is 8 Newton and here frictional force F. So, determine limiting frictional force FL and FK. FL means mu S into N1. Mu S is 5 by 7, N1 is 24, okay, I have so clear and after that, after that, what about Fk, Fk is how much, 3 by 7 into 24, okay, Newton. Now, FL and FK. Now, if this block is moving, only one condition if driving force is greater than limiting frictional force. Look here, that is 8 Newton. And what about that force? Simply <clears throat> 5 into 24 divided by 7 that is 17 point something that one is 17.14 okay limiting frictional force that is 17.14 and what about kinetic friction 3 into 24 divided by 7 that is 10.28 newton look here here limiting frictional force is greater than 
driving force okay limiting frictional force is greater than driving force so acceleration of the block is zero clear or not this block is not moving because maximum <laughs> frictional force that is a limiting frictional force that is how much 17.14 and driving force is 8 so that force is greater than that one so this block is not moving it means acceleration of the block is zero so you can say that acceleration of the block that is zero but what about frictional force on the block at that time okay now let us consider according to newton's second law unbalanced force suppose that that is unbalanced force here 8 minus f this is equal to mass into acceleration mass is 2 acceleration is 0 so f this is equal to 8 newton so frictional force on the block by sir <coughs> frictional force applied by the surface on the block is how much 8 newton clear or not and that frictional force is called static frictional force that force is called that time that force is called static frictional force this is what about direction direction is opposite to the driving force driving force means 8 newton so that force is opposite to that force and that force is how much 8 newton and that force and this frictional force is called static frictional force static static frictional force frictional force i hope so clear make it if anyone face any doubt then comment it i will discuss again